edits have ever been called stiff, this is the tutorial for you. These are tips I've learned by editing for too long that aren't hard to implement and will for sure improve your transitions. I've left the project file in the description, so after watching, you can see the transitions and save the CC and shakes. So to begin with, you want to make sure motion blur is enabled on all composition layers that have movement by checking these boxes and making sure this icon is blue. This is how to fix your out graphs and values. And by out, I mean the second part of a transition. Make sure this option is highlighted, then select all the keyframes. Now go to the first keyframe of the transition and stretch the box so it is slightly ahead of the first frame to remove the ugly tiles. And I'm increasing the values by stretching the box downwards so the transition has more impact. Now go to the end of your clips and pull the box to the end in order to stretch the transition across the whole clip's length. Now as you can see, there are still some nasty tiles spanning most of the clip. To fix this, I stretch the box up to increase the maximum scale past 100%. With a bit of tweaking, you can make the transition almost perfect. Just remember, shakes and RSMB will help cover some tiles if your values of movement are high enough. If you want even more movement, you can create a linear movement in the same direction from, say, 100 to 105. Next, for in graphs, and by that I mean the start of a transition. In general, you want a short, sharp graph with high values. And personally, I like using the box to adjust the values in key frame position till I like how it looks. This next trick is one that Skew taught me. What you do is you create an adjustment layer that's two key frames long and place it between a transition like this. Now you add radial blur to the adjustment layer, changing it to zoom and making the direction of the blur the same as the transition, increasing the amount till it looks good. Make sure you thank Skew for that one. Last but not least, is a cool trick to make transitions more seamless by color matching. You'll see what I mean in a second. I noticed these clips didn't really sync up due to the sudden change in color and brightness. To make the transition smoother and therefore less stiff, I created an adjustment layer, added hue, sat bright, and messed with the scale colors and offset darks until they looked similar enough. Then keyframing the opacity of the adjustment layer made the effect fade in smoothly. While you watch me finish this effect, I'd like to thank all the people who show me constant support. And I made this tutorial in the hopes that more people in my position, with editing experience, would share their combined knowledge and help others improve. There's always more to learn and to teach. Have fun, and I hope your transitions are smoother. Need any help? Be sure to ask in the comments.